This is a question from discrete mathematics. Consider the set of integers i. Let d denotes divides with an integer quotient. Example 4d8 but 4d7 is not possible. So it means that 4 can divide 8 but 4 cannot divide 7 with an integer quotient. Then d is and 4 options are given. So first of all let's see the properties. Reflexivity. This is not possible because for all x belongs to i, we can say that r of x comma x is reflexive. But if x is equal to 0, that is r of 0 comma 0 is not possible because 0 cannot divide 0. So the property of reflexive is not satisfied. So option A cannot be the correct answer. Even option C cannot be the right answer. So let's see the other properties. The second property is symmetric. Symmetric. For symmetric, for all x belongs to i, r of x comma y and r of y comma x is symmetric. And clearly the above relation cannot be symmetric. Because consider the example s is equal to 1 comma 2 so it means that 1 comma 2 is in the relation as well as 2 comma 1 should be in the relation but 1 comma 2 can be in the relation but 2 comma 1 cannot be in the relation so symmetric property is also not satisfied so let's see the next option that is anti symmetric in anti symmetric we can say that for all x belongs to a r of x comma y and r of y comma x it means that x is equal to y is said to be anti-symmetric but we can say that the violation is easily occurring here also because r of minus 2 comma 2 and r of 2 comma minus 2 this is not anti-symmetric not anti-symmetric let's see the transitivity property transitivity for transitivity we can say that for all x belongs to i r of x comma y and r of y comma z then r of x comma z should occur this is true for the above relation for example 2 comma 4 as 2 divides 4 and 4 comma 8 as 4 divides 8 then 2 comma 8 is possible because 2 divides 8 so the given relation is not reflexive not anti symmetric and transitive so option b not reflexive not anti symmetric and transitive is the correct answer here